All right, nerds. So today we're going to talk about half equations and ionic equations. Now, these are really useful when we're showing electron transfer in a reaction. Okay, so let's see if you can guess what sort of reactions we're talking about. All right, so half equations, we use them to show how between metals and non-metals, electrons go from one end to the other. And, yeah, and we're only going to look at the ionic species, and we're not going to look at a whole reaction, like even when we put them together, the two half reactions, we're not going to look at the whole chemical reaction. We're just going to look at two different ionic species and what happens one side and the other. That'll make more sense in a second. So all ionic reactions require electron transfer. They, they just do. So metal plus non-metal, boom, off you go. Now, ionic equations are the sum of two half equations. So we put them together and we cancel out the electrons because they'll be the same on either side. They need to balance. And yeah, then we'll have our uh, ionic, ionic equation. So, here we have two half equations, and here we have an ionic equation. So, zinc, okay, on the reactant side is just zinc, all right, but then it reacts. And when it does that, it gives away its two electrons, all right, gives away its two electrons, and there we go. So, that now is an, well, I'm pointing as if you can see it. So, now we have an ion in this side, okay, and here we have a neutral atom. All right, so and we've got our two electrons just there. Hydrogen, on the other hand, it's on the reactant side as an ion, okay, which means it's given away two electrons. Now, in hydrochloric acid, that's because it's given away those electrons to chlorine um, until it dissolves. So, on the reactants, on the product side, sorry, we have hydrogen gas. So, if we put these together, what that gives is zinc plus a hydrogen ion, okay gives us zinc ion plus hydrogen gas and the two electron that was there there was also a two electron on this side and they cancel each other out all right so next where are we at so these are our half equations that's our ionic equation we just said that so let's a bit more detail one they show electron transfer now that's very important to remember metals lose electrons that gives you a cation non-metals gain electrons that gives you so non-metals gain electron, that gives you an anion, and hydrogen ions gain electrons to make hydrogen gas. All right. So they must be balanced in terms of atoms and charges. All right. So here we, again, this is aluminium in an acid, probably hydrochloric acid. Um, so what we have is we have aluminium as a solid, gets put in the acid, and then it gives away its electrons, three of them, to become an ion, a positive ion, 3+. plus. Um, hydrogen, on the other hand, starts off already dissolved as an, in an aqueous solution. Okay, so it's already given away its electrons to uh, chlorine, but once it dissolves, that all goes to, that, that changes. So we've got two H pluses and the two electrons. On the other side, though, on the reactants, on the product side, we have hydrogen gas. Cool, all right, so... To balance these, we need to multiply. Balancing these is much simpler. We multiply the electrons by each other, okay? Because that way they're going to, you know, equal the same. So 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. And we can cancel them out. And what that gives us is what we have down here. So in the end, if you multiply this part of an equation, though, we've got to multiply every part of the equation. So we've got two aluminium solids um, on the product side and reactant side. So this is the electron loss. This is the electron gain, by the way. That's how that works. So it's electron loss in the first equation, electron gain in the other, and then we put them together for the ionic, ionic equation. So it's two aluminiums, gives us two, so it loses the electron, so it loses six electrons altogether. In this case, six hydrogens gain six electrons and give us hydrogen gas. We put them together, and it's two aluminium plus six H minus, gives us two aluminium three plus, plus three H um, molecules. And that's it. That's that's half equations. You'll get used to them by doing them. Um, so yeah, awesome.